You like jazz? <laughs> Let's get started. Hey guys, I'm Eric Creel, the Trolls World Tour Fanboy 2002, and this is a redo review on B Movie because I want to keep my original video for my fun memories for my actual original review. So you can click in the link in the description to watch my original review on B Movie. But today is my redo review on B Movie. Let's get started. Here's the plot. We have Barry B. Benson, who want to find a way with Adam, and then they like to join in in the Hunnix, and then when suddenly happens is when Barry B. Benson wants to found out that he wants to go in outside the hive, and then when suddenly they're living in humans and they live in New York City, and then when basically happens is when when Barry needs to found out with humans, and then when suddenly happens is when Barry meets Vanessa, and then when suddenly happens when Barry needs to found out to thinking be what happens, and then Barry solves the honey projects, and then when suddenly happens is when. Barry wants to find a way into the honey farms to find a bee smoker. And then when suddenly happens is when the honey farms business is who wants to found out. And then when suddenly when Barry B. Benson wants to find the true case of the honey products. And then when suddenly when Barry B. Benson founds out and they like to live in in the courthouse. And then when suddenly happens when they talks to the other people and then when suddenly when Ken who wants to smash the beat but can't because he's a failure attempt to do this and then when Barry B. Benson solves the idea with Mr. Montgomery and then when suddenly happens is when Adam who wants to sing I mean Adam who wants to sting Mr. Montgomery's buttocks and then when suddenly when Adam lives in hospital and, and they like to help to regenerate some honey. And then when suddenly happens when Barry wants to found out with a smoker, to use it with a bee smoker with Vanessa. And then when suddenly happens is when Barry, Barry who wants to hmm, raise up for the high rings because Barry B. Benson become the most popular vote than Mr. Montgomery's. Unlike when Joe Biden has most popular vote than Donald Trump, remember from the election day 2020? All right, continue the plot. And then when Barry B. Benson wants to found out for the new case is closed when the honey products will be discovered when they need to sell more and then they need added more honey and then when Hunnix got shut down, and because when the flower got to get even more older and older and becomes it faded into the crust. And then suddenly happens is when Barry B. Benson found out about some flowers are have been older to become the deadly crust. And then when Need to help more bees to find a pollinate soon. And then when suddenly happens is when Barry B. Benson and Vanessa, who wants to find a way to bring back to flowers. And then when suddenly happens, when Barry B. Benson wants to found out to find a way to help the race to come back to the flowers and help plant it back. And then when suddenly when Barry B. Benson founds out with Vanessa, and then when suddenly happens is when all the RBs who want to help to save the time when Barry B. Benson and Vanessa want to find a way, and then they all save from the flowers. And then when basically happens when Barry B. Benson and Vanessa who want to find a way for the connected to become a perfect bee. And then when suddenly happens, when 
Barry B. Benson, who wants to pollinate the world and find a way to become, grow up more flowers and for the sunny day, and then to bring the happy ending to the world. And that's basically the plot. So what do I even think about being movie? So the first time I watched that as a kid, and I give it a rewatch on Netflix in early in the morning. And then what do I think of it? Such a most underrated masterpiece, even better than Shrek the Third in my personal opinion. So yeah, the animation really awesome and it still holds up to this day. The story, very cool. And the characters we have Barry, the main character. He's cool, played by the legendary Jerry Seinfeld. And then we have Vanessa. She's pretty cool, played by the same persons who play Angie from Shark Tale. And then we have Adam. He is cool, one of the best characters of the entire film, which is the same persons who play the main guy from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And then we have Ken. He's awesome, played by the same persons who play Joe from Family Guy and then Kronk from The Emperor's New Groove. And then, let's not forget about Mr. Montgomery. He is cool, played by the same persons who play James P. Soul from from Monsters Incorporated and Monsters University, and also Fred Flintstone from Steven Spielberg's The Flintstones live action film. And then the rest of the characters look so awesome, including Barry's parents. They are so awesome. And the Paul Jocks, they are cool. And Jeanette Chung, she's cool. And the rest of the characters are so awesome, including Ray Liotta himself. He's cool. And then Barry Lee King, I mean, B. Larry King, he's awesome. Played by Larry King himself. And the rest of the characters look really cool. And yes, no negatives at all, including Here Comes the Sun song, that is awesome, and including some of the rest of the music scores, they are really awesome for a DreamWorks animated film. And yes, that is such a very cool film that I yet to rewatch while I'm saving for my childhood memories. Overall, This film gets a 10 out of 10, in my opinion. Amazing, brilliant masterpiece. And it definitely gets the seal of epic masterpiece. So, what do you think of B-Movie? Whether you liked it or not. So, comment below and let me know. My next redo review, hopefully it's The Cruise. And for my next redo review, this Wednesday is, oh boy, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. That will be mind-blowingly epic. So, if you want to see more, subscribe. Click subscribe, whatever you like. Hope you all enjoy, and goodbye.